Hello everyone and welcome back to more Going Local here with Leon and well has it been a good start to the season? No, no it hasn't. We have completed our first month of competitive fixtures and it's well we haven't lost I suppose but it's not been very good. I said last time because of PSG we need to make sure that we don't drop any points, don't drop any silly points against all the other teams who we should on paper be able to beat. We beat Lille last time the second strongest team in the division and uh, have we continued that form against other less good teams no no we have not so we did uh, successfully draw 2-2 in the second leg against rangers meaning we safely made it through uh, the third round of the champions league qualification but we'll just go to that first because that's the positive we then had spartak moscow we're amazing at scoring goals away from home in the champions league apparently 6-1 win in Moscow and then a 1-0 win at home to safely make it through to the group stage which will be starting today and as you can see would you look at that it's Porto our former team I well we, we, we played Celtic previously with uh, with fire order so this is the second time we've played a former team the rest of our group PSV of course who we've played before and Inter Milan relatively Relatively evenly matched teams, I think. But as for the league, we've played three more league games and we've only won one of them, which is very disappointing. A 1-1 with Bordeaux, managed by Olaf Melberg at this point. Really irritating. They scored in the third minute. Their goal was offside. Um, it just it was just offside. Uh, apparently, VAR just doesn't exist in France. Or it does, but it doesn't actually work. Darami equalised later on. If you look at the uh, the old stats we should have won the game. Very annoying. Then a 1-0 win against uh, Troy or Troy A. I, I'm not, not sure which, but Bruno with the goal. That was good. Three points. I like that one. But then most recently, a 1-1 with Neem. Again, their goal was offside. It was just literally offside. But apparently in France, we just allow offside goals all the time. Um, again, the stats, we should have won. Baffling. I mean, like performances. Diawara wasn't very good. Christensen was awful. And uh, so was uh, Manion as well. Everyone else was great. Like, Matonda got a 7 rating. He didn't score. But uh, it's just it, it inexplicable so far. Hopefully just sort of teething problems. Once we get used to things, it should hopefully maybe be okay. I just say as well, no more transfers in. Uh, a couple of fringe players going out. But the big players are still here. And, uh, well, Mateus... He's unhappy. He's only got seven people that agree with him. I sold one of the people that agreed with him. So he's got less support, as I said last time. In another save, we'd, we'd probably sell him. But in this save, no. He's got four years on his contract. The chances of us still being here in four years are very, very slim. So ultimately, if he ends up leaving on a free transfer and Leon lose out on a potential 80 million plus because he is that level of player, then... I don't really care because I'm I'm not interested in Leon's long-term finances. I'm interested in winning now, and we are far better place to win now with this man in the team. But anyway, two games today, which I'm hopeful we'll be able to get a win at home. It's been away from home where we've been dodgy, except in Europe where we've just been amazing. So uh, we've got Porto, of course, coming up. But first of all, here's Auxerre, a team we should hopefully be beating. They're in 19th, so you'd expect us to do that. Uh, let's just have a quick, quick, uh, quick look at the Ligue 1 table. It doesn't make for very good reading. We are in fifth place, eight points, respectable, competing with all teams around us, apart from PSG, who've obviously won five out of five. They're top of the league. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's not very good, is it? They haven't in this universe. They have not lost the league at all. And my my hope is that Stankovic, who I mean, as if they would hire Dejan Stankovic, by the way, as well. Really, um, but anyway, it's not it's not not, not that he's a bad manager. It's just he's not glamorous enough for them, really, is he? My hope is that he will get bored, just goes Real Madrid or something like that, and then we will just move across the country. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll worry about that. Let's have a good season, as good a season as we can. And Mbappe is still here. He's valued at a hundred million, which yeah, there you go. Uh, Jude Bellingham plays for them as well. So Richarlison. Aaron Hickey, they're really, really good, really, really good. But first of all, we are playing all there. That's uh, this is three points on the board. I'm hopeful this would move us up to second place. I think hopefully this is the team we're going to be playing. And uh, as I said, the performances have been pretty good for the most part, apart from Christensen and Angelino, the two most experienced players. Mine as well hasn't been that good in goal. Uh, but Nelson's been okay. Estevez has been okay as well. 
Midfield is going to be Samaseko because the Adiawara hasn't been particularly good either. Matias is going to be there, of course. Sir Bruno as well. Darmi on the left-hand side. Tabata on the right-hand side. And Matondo up front through the middle. has uh, you know, He scored one goal since last time. Scored against Spartak Moscow. Um, we need to see a few more from him today. A few familiar faces in the Auxerre team. Uh, Kaunaki up front is a name I'm familiar with. But, I mean, this is... You know, we're, we're, we're eight years in the future at this point. Nine years in the future at this point. So, these... Uh, these players are not perhaps quite as good. They've got Chris Cadden on the bench, former Motherwell winger as well. Right, corner first of all, Tabata swings it in and Christensen can't even get his effort on target. He's not scored a single corner so far. Auxerre have offered absolutely nothing, but then we haven't really been great. We've not had a shot on target so far. It's just, I mean, I, I don't. we've scored a combined 11 goals in two Champions League away games. And yet in the league... We haven't managed to do all that much. Apart from against Lille, it's the weaker sides. We're kind of, they're all sitting back and defending and we have no apparent ability to break them down particularly, which with the players we've got is surprising. But anyway, five minutes ago before the break, can we actually, you know, do something good? Bruno racing forwards a little bit, gets around the midfielder and then just decides to waste the opportunity like a complete moron. And that is half time. And that is a water bottle going to be chucked absolutely disgraceful they're demotivated i don't care i'm demotivated by your performance utterly abysmal christensen is on a 6.4 i changed his role up from a ball playing defender i mean sorry how how i mean the center backs in all the teams we play in the center backs have been our best performance how are you on a 6.4 utterly disgraceful it's just disgraceful from everybody I mean, he's missed a header there which is just embarrassing we've managed to get away with it i think although i'm not particularly confident in the goalkeeper or the left back at the moment. Very poor from both of them so far this season. But can we actually create an actual opportunity uh, for the first time in the game against the team in 19th in the league and we we're at home? We should be winning 5-0. We haven't done anything so far. Very slow play from us at the moment. Uh, but Tabas has been found. He's in behind. It's pulled back and Matondo can't even get it on target. Again, we've not had a shot on target. Seven shots, none on target. What are we, Spain? This is embarrassingly bad so far. Estevez, though, gets in behind. Can he pull a ball back? Get some sort of cross in. Back heels. It's been it's been put in. Mohamed Darami is able to dispatch it for a breakthrough goal. It's a bit of a mess, but it's managed to go in. And that's, well, it, I think that was always going to be what, what we got in this game to decide things. Estevez with a little backward shuffle. Darmy with a header in. And we finally get the breakthrough. Our first effort on target and we actually managed to score. Well, not long to go. I've taken Matias off because he was getting very, very tired. Might make a few more changes in a minute. Christensen's on a 6.3. How? How? I mean, I guess he's been booked. Maybe that's the factor, but just seems inexplicable. Bruno, good one-touch pull, a ball through, and Darami's effort is skied. If we could actually score goals, then we might have a chance, but it's not really particularly prolific so far. To battle with a free kick in, and Bruno again. I mean, what? We, we've apparently had five shots on target in the end. Luckily, the most important one did go in the goal, and uh, that is hopefully going to be that into the final seconds, and... We get an incredibly nervy 1-0 win against Augsburg. I mean, I say it was nervy. They didn't do anything. But it's just, again, sloppy. Not good enough. Christensen's managed to recover himself to a 6.6 .6 to just about avoid being fined. I'll say it was a good win to keep the morale up. I mean, it's potentially a morale issue just purely because, obviously, a lot of the guys are unhappy that I've refused to sell our best player you know, because they're absolute morons who don't understand anything about winning. I mean, Leon have not won a trophy in this entire save so far. Steven Gerrard getting the Liverpool job based solely on the fact that he's Steven Gerrard because he's not won a trophy at Leon. He's won a, won a couple of cups in Scotland, never won the league in Scotland. So, yeah, Liverpool going purely for nostalgia rather than, you know, a manager who's actually won multiple trophies but you know not not that i'm bitter in any way not that i am bitter we have actually won that game i feel very negative after it. another poor performance but at least we have got the uh the win and we go up to second place in the table although we're, we're already four points behind psg right then porto i'm going to stick with the same team that just played really badly because well i'm backing them to make an improved performance so let's just check on check in on porto they've hired uh stanievich to replace us, uh, 
bit of a merry-go-round with uh, with Napoli. But in terms of transfers, uh, he's made a he's made his mark on the squad already. Lots of sales. Uh, Pinero, who um, has been well, was pretty good at the right back, has gone to Almeria. Diaz has gone. He sold Orsolini. I nearly bought Orsolini for uh, for Leon. In the end, I kind of felt it wasn't really uh, really worth it. Uh, Lilu, one of our signings, he sold. Uh, Resende as well, one of our signings as well. He sold Soda, has gone out on loan. He's loaned out Alvaro as well. So you know, he clearly doesn't think much of what we brought in. They've signed Justin Cliver, uh, Sigurd, and Colombo as well. Um, but they have recently lost to a newly promoted side in the league, which is embarrassing. We we never did that. In fact, I think the only team we ever lost to in the league in the entire save was Benfica. Oh, and Vittoria Guimaraes as well in that unfortunate incident. Right, we need to win. Former team, got to beat them. Obviously, show them uh, that what they're missing. Show them we're better than them. This is quite a tricky group, to be honest. I would not be surprised if we end up coming last. I also would not be surprised if we end up winning it. But as ever, if we can finish in third place, I will not be in any way, shape or form upset. Early highlight, and it was uh, our best player easily losing the ball. So good to see he's up for it. Virginia pings out to a new man, Justin Clivert, who's uh, cutting inside. I didn't even look at the lineup, to be honest. Marcus Antonio, Virginia, uh, and they've scored. Cardin scores, but he's miles offside. They've got offside in the Champions League. They just can't bother doing that in Liga. So, yeah. I mean, miles offside. It wasn't even worth going going to the monitors. It was, uh, it was, it was very obvious. But right, just to pause on their team. Is, this is ridiculous. It's been months since we left. Um, he's playing in midfield of Virginia and Marcus Antonio. Fine. Sanchez still at left back. Brass still at centre back. He's playing Borgia at centre back. Costa still in goal. But right back and the entire front three completely changed. We've got a highlight though. Estevez with a throw. Finds Tabata. Good control from him. That was not a good pass though. Didn't even look. Did not even look. Just kicked it straight at the Porto player. But we can hopefully still manage to work a chance. Christensen. Actually, some decent football from him there. Bruno racing through to batters in again. In behind, Matondo's there, and he is apparently onside. Questionable, but as it's for us, I don't care. 1-0, another goal for Bryce Matondo. Great start of the season for him. Simple, simple move. I mean, if, if I was the Porto manager, I'd be furious. Matondo, did it hit the defender? Because how on earth he's not offside there, I don't know. Is offside broken? Has, has, has there been an update to break offside? Not that I'm complaining in this one instance that we get a potentially offside goal. Given they get a very clearly offside goal, not. But 1-0 at the break, this is good. Can we add to it though in the second period? Uh, Porto obviously will have something to say about that. Virginia's ball is uh, a bad one. And uh, I mean, to be fair, it was a Porto team that needed a bit of renewal. Um, obviously not something that we were interested in doing. We, we were interested in one thing and one thing only, and that is trophies, which is uh, something we'll try and do here. Anyway, Bruno's in. Bit of space for him. Good good passing. Tabata's effort is awful. But free kick deep from uh, Mateus. Haven't really done anything from set pieces so far and still haven't. Nelson goes close, but not close enough. A good clearing header from uh, Nelson, which uh, Matondo is onto, and uh, he's, he's onto it very well. Finds Darami. Good part of run from him as well. Flicks it in and Mateus is there for his first of the season. His first under our managerial spell. We are 2 up on the hour mark against Porto. Hopefully that will sort of go some way to getting him to uh, stop being so, so unhappy and moody. It was a great run from Matondo and a good control from Jeremy. Good cross in. And there's a nice finish from a young Frenchman. Safe to say this is a lot more like it. Why we can't do this sort of level of uh, performance in the league so far. I mean, obviously we are unbeaten so far, but still, it's not been convincing domestically from us so far. Maybe it'll be a season of European success. Maybe we will win the Europa League or even the Champions League. I mean, if we, if we, if we do too well, we won't, we won't be in the Europa League, will we? We'll be in the, in the Champions League knockouts. Anyway, Bruno's in behind. Would be nice if he could score. Again, not even on target. Still time for us to potentially throw this away. Going to make a few changes because I just want to keep everyone as uh, injury-free as possible. But uh, Porto coming forward in search of a goal back. 
Sanchez, good ball into Joel, and a Mannion is alive to the danger. Corner though, which Virginia plays in, and a Nelson with a towering header away. Maybe Nelson should be the one we aim at for, from, from corners, because Christensen is considerably better, apparently, but he's not actually clear in practice, he's not better, only sort of theoretically. I mean, actually, Christensen's got 15 heading and 14 jumping reach, whereas Nelson's got 15 jumping reach and 14 heading, so maybe actually Nelson is the one we should be aiming at. What? How is, how is, what is their actual height situation? Just, which, I mean, there's like a couple of minutes left in the game. It's probably going to be one. Let's just sort of check this. For future reference, um, height-wise, 188 for Christensen and 184 for Nelson. So overall, Christensen should be, he should be prolific from corners, but thus far, has not been. Anyway, doesn't matter on this occasion in well, we're, well over the allotted time. Porto trying to get a goal back. They may well do. They still can't. They hit the bar and that should surely be that. They've got a consolation corner which uh, Mannion claims well. Much better performance from him today. Christensen as well. Much better rating and that is the final whistle. 2-0 win against Porto. I mean clearly we're a better team than Porto so that justifies that move. We're, we're moving on up the uh, professional rankings. So there we go. Successful episode in the sense that we did win both games, but I'm I'm concerned by our league performances. They've not been convincing. Maybe we just sort of, maybe we just need to sort of warm up a little bit more and things will be even more improved next time. Maybe by next time, PSG will have dropped points. Maybe even PSG will drop points against us because I'm not going to, we're not going to cover that one in an episode as it's the away game and I just don't want to get annihilated. I'm sure we will play them in uh, the future i mean we, we saw their squad earlier it's uh it's scary it's scary how good is mbappe at this point i mean he should be a i mean that is that is the fm equivalent of a war crime if you don't have it really isn't it and then this man casado colombian regen it, i mean he's good he's not amazing i wouldn't say he's amazing and just jude bellingham out of curiosity i mean He's only 25. Goodness me. Goodness me. I mean, we know we know how good he is anyway. We know how good he is anyway. But anyway, we will be back next time for some more at some point. It's hard to sort of know how far I'm going to be able to get, really. Probably sort of around the Inter Milan game. Yeah, probably somewhere around October. Maybe November if we can get that. I'm not sure. It'll be some games, though. Probably probably a league game, maybe a Champions League game because that's all we've got so far. The Cup, luckily, does not start. It's like the FA Cup, doesn't start until much later on in the season, 31st of December. That's more like it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well to see how we get on in the rest of this season. With Leon, we're in third place. Monaco have gone above us in the meantime. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but we will give it a go.